Hey everybody, Dark Prince plays here, Lent the Curtains Rise, on another episode of the Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion 3. In the last episode, we or we arrived at the last resort, thinking that we were going to go on a really pleasant vacation, but turns out the whole thing was haunted, and that's new. Um, and, yeah. Now, now we, uh, while trying to escape King Boo, who has captured all of our friends, uh, we ended up in this uh, laundry room, I guess. So, if you haven't seen the last episode, make sure to prefer watching this one so you're caught up with everything that's happened up to this point. Even though we made pretty much no progress. Now, you can see that there's like gold bars, dollars, and coins. But they're all out of reach, so we can't really do anything with them yet. And towels. Wait. Can I still do this? No. At the end of the last one, I did something weird with one of the towels. And it like smushed and got sent fly. Like, kind of like that. It's <laughs> Stuff like that's probably going to happen from time to time if I just mess around with things. And this in here is what I was kind of talking about last time. So if you remember uh, in the last episode, I was kind of mentioning how to get all the gems, and that is one of them. So there are different shapes for each floor. Um, there's six colors. Um, okay, they, each, they each have different shapes depending on what floor you're on, and there are six colors. There's clear, uh, yellow, red, blue, green, and purple, so I think that would be, aw. So I think that would be ruby, sapphire, emerald, diamond, yes, I did start off with the Pokemon game, um, gems, uh, amethyst, and, uh, I kind of looked this up a while ago, just to see what that would be called, like, hold on, yellow gemstones. that be it's citrine okay it's that's that's what i'm gonna call it I, i'm pretty sure that's what i used to call it anyways so that'd be hmm so that'd be ruby sapphire emerald citrine diamond and amethyst and there's coins in here which i'm going to try to find which by the way um the way that this game ranks you which yeah it does have a ranking system the way, the way you get ranked in this game, that was kind of... <laughs> imagine how loud that would have been like if you were there in person. But um, the ranking system depends on how many how many coins you get across the game. Or, no, how many coins you get at the end of the game, more, more so. so yeah, the more coins you collect, the better rank you'll end the game on. And yeah. Instead of Luigi's Mansion 3, how... Or, I mean, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, how mm -hmm. it just graded you every level rather than the whole thing. So it's more like Luigi's Mansion 1. And by the way, I should mention this. Gold, or coins are worth 1. Dollars are worth 5 coins. And gold bars, I think, are worth 20. And pearls are pretty rare to find, but I believe they're worth 50. Yeah, I thought I mentioned that. There's a go to the truck. E gets, or no, E gets R. Which was shown off in Dark Moon as well. Put this up hiding in there. Point. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, all the ghosts that are screwed now. Victory music from Dark Moon. Okay. Okay, now you get a little tutorial of how to use it. All day. That's the strobe bulb. That's how you stun the ghosts. Oh, oh yeah. ZR. Suction function. You can also rotate while you do this. Also, if you walk. It'll kind of like bark you back into place. Oh, look at him. We also got blow function. Probably gonna say a lot of things are innuendo, probably. Maybe you press both at the same time and. I forget exactly what it's called. I think it's like called the burst shot or something. It's burst something, though. Comfortable with what you learned? Yes. And now we can do things. And away I go. My people need me.
So yeah, we, def we do get upgrades for the Poltergust as we go along the game, but this is the Poltergust um, G00. And it was shown off in, um, S no, it was, yeah, it was Simon Belmont's uh, Smash Reveal trailer. And now we can do a lot of things. Like, uncover this. And if you see any panels that are, that are like, flashing green, flash it with the strobold, and, oh, we got a gem. We got the diamond. Got it. Eh <laughs> And yeah, you can see, like, I'm flashing these creatures. Um, some have coins, some don't, as you saw there. But there are some golden ones that you can find as you go on. In Dark Moon, something... Like, they kind of handled it a bit weird, because, like, if you sucked up the golden animal, it would um, not give you coins. You'd have to flash with a strobold. But here you can either suck it up or flash with a strobold. Either one works. But yeah. I think that's pretty neat. Also, here's a dollar stack. How fun. Money already. It's best to get as much money as possible. And also we can totally try to make our escape. Let's do it. I mean, he probably could have slid under that. Like, if he really tried to. I'm pretty sure he would have had to know that was going to happen in advance, though. I don't know. Not much else to do in here. Uh, we can go back to the laundry room though to get to get some of the money that we couldn't get before. I think I want, might want to do, even though I'm gonna go back in there eventually anyways, just because gem. dust. Now you can also interact with wheels and stuff. You see here. That's going to be very um, <clears throat> very useful knowledge for one of the floors later on. Why did he turn the long way? Oh. Well. Now we can get the money that we saw at the end of the last one and start this episode seeing. Sweet satisfaction, except some of the dollars are kind of stuck. <laughs> no, wait, come on. Okay, I got some of it. Eh, alright. Oh yeah, also, um, let me just move you. The, the <laughs> oh, wow. If you burst shot near a fire extinguisher, this happens. Whoa. And then it explodes. I have no idea where it went, though. Oh, uh, but yeah, they do give a lot of money, but they only give it once per fire extinguisher, so... Even if it... Which it probably should respawn... Um, later on. Like, and if you turn the game off and turn it back on, it should respawn, but it won't give you any coins. We can't do anything with that gem yet, so we're gonna have to come back later. Is there something we can get in here though? I mean, nope, just. Luigi! It's just towels! Presumably wet towels, because they, they kind of look wet. Okay, anyways. Uh, there's another gem in that painting, but we can't do anything with that either, and I almost completely forgot about the stuff up here. Are always nice to get another fire extinguisher. Uh, Senor, thank you. And I believe if you do use the up, up, <laughs> it was not going anywhere. I believe if you try to suck up mouse holes, you get. Okay, I guess you don't get holes from all of them, but uh, quite a few of them you do get stuff. Hey, no, 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 no. Not a golden mouse, but I wanted to get it anyways. There's another one of those panels, by the way. That I was.
was referring to earlier. Ah, dude. Ah, dude. We can try to use the elevator, but... Yeah, no elevator yet. Just flash the... Oh, you can accidentally flash Boulder Pup sometimes, too. The Izagosi is um, prone to the effects, but, I mean... Oh, yeah. <laughs> big brain! But yeah, so is Luigi, because he once accidentally flashed himself in the eye with the, with the strobe hole. Bending machine. Uh -huh. Huh. I guess you could say that these snacks taste pretty rich. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know if anyone calls anything like tasting rich, but like, it was it was an attempt. There was an attempt made. Just give me that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna give that to me or not, but who cares? I kind of do. And there goes the lamp. You can also suck up spider webs and such. Yeah, a lot of them look pretty neatly textured, actually. Treasure, which I believe there's a pearl in this one? Yes, there is. Okay, I couldn't quite see how much of the pearl was worth, but we got all that. Fire extinguisher. Wow. Alright, cool. Always nice to get coins. We already have, like, almost 2,000. So you can peek in some of these holes, and as you can see, there's, like, money back here. But we cannot get to it just yet. We're gonna have to wait a little longer until we get more stuff for the... Uh, for the pulpy gust. And right here. The first jump. <laughs> and there's another gem down there, but we cannot get that yet either. But we are going to have to remember that. And here's another one. Here's the emerald for floor one. So yeah. Down there you saw the green emerald for the... Um, or you saw the emerald for the basement. But this is the lobby. Yeah. And as you can see, it's a different shape from the ones that we've seen so far. So yeah, that signifies that we are on a new, we're on a new floor. And also we can't use the elevator yet because... There's no buttons, except for basement one, which is where we just were. In case you couldn't guess, that's what we're going to have to collect throughout the course of the game. And also my throat started hurting again from doing the King, King Boo voice. That was a great mistake, but I mean, it might be worth it. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, who put firecrackers in the trash can? Well, that did make Luigi run faster, which is good for me. Break everything! Don't think we can do anything here yet. We do have to walk over here, and that's kind of creepy, but... They didn't even try with Toad. Like, eh, just get his, just get his hat thingy. Uh -huh. And part of his eye. Uh -huh. And then Luigi's reaction. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Just like in Dark Moon, you got these ghosts gates that prevent you from moving on. Anyways, we got our very first enemy ghost, Goof. So probably the most common enemy type. You just flash it with the stobol and then suck it up. Yeah, Goofs all have 100 um, HP. You can damage them simply by just um, sucking on them with your poltergust. Yes, that does sound very innuendo-esque, innuendo but anytime there's like a vacuum or something that involves sucking, that, that, that's pretty much a given. Yeah, you know, they'll try to punch you. And something else you can... Oh, okay. I don't want to show off yet. But hopefully I will eventually. I'm trying to show this off. But yeah, you can either suck them with your poltergust or... Um, or just do it the old-fashioned way and just latch on as long as you can. I, I know what to do. Like, Polter Pup, you're precious, but I'm trying to get both of them at once. You got it. Okay. So you can... Okay, I guess that's not going to be shown off, but... You can use one to hit the other, and then just chain right into that. Oh, 
There's going to be plenty more of those guys as, as we go along the game, but there are more ghost types. And he's essentially the green of this game. In which a lot of the enemy names are very similar to uh, names of the ghosts in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And I was right about these things. So we can't do anything with this yet, but we got to remember that that's there just for later. And now we just keep on keeping on. There's another... There's a gun here. Oh, this. I don't know who that is, actually. I think that's explained later, but either I just straight up don't know or forgot. And if you remember, there was a couch here. Where is it? It could be anywhere! Okay. So I'm not just gonna go around just getting every little thing. I'm just... Gonna see if I can get any gems. <clears throat> so we saw the diamond, we saw the, the the firecrackers. I kinda had a brain fart. So we saw the emerald, we see the diamond. I believe there's another one right here, but we can't get it yet. Um Folder Pup, please, I know oh. Oh wait, no, you just that's a cutscene that just happens if you walk to the stairs. It's just I feel like I know what to do, and it just I don't know, it feels kind of patronizing. Okay, you get a key, and you can use that to unlock certain doors. Uh, specific keys. Um, so I don't know if you can like use any key to unlock any door, but um, yeah, if you couldn't guess, keys unlock doors. There are gonna be plenty of locked doors uh, throughout the hotel. Yeah, sucking up the, the gem doesn't do anything. You just gotta go up and grab it. Uh -huh. So we got the amethyst for the, for the lobby, which I believe is my first gem in uh, my original playthrough. Uh, we don't really have anything, any way to see our gems yet, so just gonna leave that there. Don't think there's. Wait a minute. There might be a way I can get this. Yep. So you can suck up certain things and they'll get stuck, and then you can... Never mind, I guess you, that's not the way. But you can do this and get a crap ton of money if you aim them at our portraits. You get money. I forget if this is just money or if there's, you get gems from this, but this was something I didn't really think of doing um, the first time I played. There are more pumpkins here, though, which is good. You get the princess. Why not? Oh, of course she has a pearl in hers. I think Mars is just coins and Luigi is just dollars. I think. I could be totally wrong about that. Nope, never mind. I thought there was, like... I thought they put, like, specific things behind the specific character portraits. 3,000 coins already, and it's only the second episode. That's kind of good, because you get, you get coins fairly fast in this game. Okay, I guess that was just money, then. I thought there was more to it. Um... Oh, I remember how you get that diamond now. Okay. We're gonna have to come back later. There's a lot of stuff you can't get right off the bat. Even though it kind of pains me to skip over it, we're gonna have to for now. More cons. I feel like the reason that this LP might take a while is just because of how I play. And how I just collect a lot of things. You can roll back this, you can see event. Which we cannot do anything with just yet. Kind of rhymed. Yeah, now that we're on the second level, they're oval shaped. And you can see the ruby. That scared me. I am so sorry for anyone who had arachnophobia on that. I, oh my god. Okay, let's kill it. Let's kill it for money. And Randy, if by any chance you were watching, I deeply apologize. That <laughs> even scared me. Okay, uh, a 
thought that said uh, floor four for a second. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but it was in this game. Eat key. And this was shown off in the trailer. He's dead. All right, first things first. Mega brain. And this is how you get the ruby. Yeah, that, the thing with a lot of these gems is that I already know what to do with them. So it's like a bit unfair. Yeah, that one, if you don't know what to do exactly, that one does require a bit of thinking. So you gotta use your noggin for some of these. Now we gotta go in here. I thought he was just gonna straight up fly again. It's kind of funny when he does it because Holderpup just chooses to walk around all the time. He doesn't fly like, as often as other ghosts. Come on, I'm getting money. I believe if you go down this way, he'll just stop you, I think? No, he won't. I was gonna explain this, but I just kind of had a brain fart and forgot to explain it before and I actually went and did it. Yeah, that's another part of, of floor two, but we cannot go in there just yet. Maybe we can, hold on. Maybe I'm just, eh, it's far away. I don't wanna do it right now. We do need a key. It's gotta, we gotta go in here. Now, this might be a bit tricky if you're, <clears throat> for if you're a first time Luigi, uh, Luigi's Mansion player. But also this. Money bag! There's some of those scattered throughout the game too. And they're oh so satisfying to get. You just set up these outfits. I believe they're all, they all just give you money, but yeah, that, that safe right there gives you the emerald and Luigi shifted over to the right a little bit for some reason. Um, that was weird. I was thinking, like, one of these gives you money, right? <laughs> money and brushes. So can you figure out what to do? You can hear the beeping. And you can see the switch. But where is it? It's behind you. I said it's behind you. Yeah, so I think you might want to know about Luigi's Mansion is that it likes to play with perspective sometimes. See, I like how how the beginning of the game is kind of like a tutorial, even if it doesn't straight up say it is one. Also, yeah, they're totally <laughs> they're totally putting the bounty on you. Poor poor Ouija. Can I? Yes, there we go. I believe you can. Why am I not? Okay, there. I believe you can get three at once. Oh, yeah. At least you can get three goobs at once. I just wanted to show off two at once. Not just because. Look at that. They're, they're putting money behind the posters that promise money. Granted, it's probably more than what I'm getting from the posters, but I don't know, just a bit of irony there. There's a mouse somewhere, but I'm not even going to bother to find it. Unless that was just the trash can hmm. squeaking. Huh? I'll just do this one more time. We really don't need to see Luigi unlock every door in the hotel. Nice. Alright, pull what's under here. Oh, come on. 
Be slightly patient. There was something in here. A little bit strange. Also, I totally got a gold bar without even realizing. That was a gold bar to be got. Oh, piggy bank! So you get with the poltergeist, shoot it somewhere, and... Probably not the best place to, for me to throw that. Oh, was there a pearl? There was a pearl! No! Wow. I'm not gonna get that now, unless... Oh, wait, that's already there. No, it's not! Wait, I want the pearl! No! No! No, the pearl! Ugh, that was not a good place to shoot the piggy bank. My throat still hurts from King Boo. I should not have done that then. Now it's kind of not becoming worth it. Also, Spider. By the way, I should probably point out that the, the creatures in this game are mice, spiders, and bats. I think those are the only ones. Technically, they're a fish, but like, they don't really attack you that much. I mean, the other ones don't necessarily attack you like all the time, but they can hurt you. Oh. And in here, you got papers. Uh, oh. But more importantly... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ho -ho. Yeah. Let's do it. I don't know. How is Flashlight? I already knew to do that, uh -huh. but... Oh no, that was part of the Poltergeist. His flashlight somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Returning from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, the Dark Light Device. I think that's what it was called. Hold it over painting, and it'll... It'll bring out anything that's inside the painting. Not only that, it'll... Spider. A gold spider, to be, to be exact. But yeah, um, you can also use it to um, uncover any hidden objects or invisible objects. Yeah, it's very useful. And something, something else... Oh yeah, you can also see where Polterpup goes. Something also worth noting is that it does not have, or it does not need to cool down in this version. So in Dark Moon, there was like only a certain amount of time you could hold this for, uh, and then like Luigi would burn himself and wouldn't be able to use it for a little longer, or for a, while, a little while longer. And you'd be able to use it longer the more coins you got. But I guess Egad just kind of realized that was a kind of a flaw in the design, so he just had it where you can use it infinitely. I don't know how it got into that safe, but. Whatever, let's get him out of there. And we totally didn't check out that other room, huh? Hmm. <laughs> I love how his voice lines sync up with his lips, or his, how his lips sync up with his voice lines now. <laughs> if it isn't Luigi, you are precisely I still destroyed from King Boo voice. Sorry. You are precisely the last person I'd expect to find here. Oh, come on now. Now, now, hold that thought. Now isn't the time to catch up. What matters is he'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Uh, get me out of here now. This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. What was that? All of your friends have been captured? And you can't just abandon them here, you say? You're the same as ever, I see. A bit of a handful. Okay, I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Elvin Gad, have an idea. Best things first, Luigi. We have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Hey, the new filter got DG double zero you're wearing. You took that on my car, right? Huh? We'll have to get back to the underground garage. Let's go. Now, watch this. <laughs> Look at the way he runs! So this is, the, I think, one of, if I, or this might straight up be the only time in the game where you get to have the EGAD follow you. I love spending as much time as I can just having him run around, but you can also do this. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 I don't want that. <laughs> And you can totally see his eyes. I don't know if you can really see them that well in here, but outside you definitely can. <laughs> Look at his eyes! Oh my god. I just... Now is he gonna stop me from... He's gonna stop me. And what did he say exactly? This isn't where we need to be right now. Our business is in the garage. 
Okay, fine, I'll go to the... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, just him not doing anything and just... <laughs> Quick run. It's so funny to me. Luigi, take a look over there. The elevator gets us to the... We'll get, get us to the garage in an instant. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Yeah, you can kind of see his eyes better with that. It's... <laughs> I love, oh, no. I love rock and roll. <laughs> okay. Enough bullying the poor old man. Ooh. Hey, Luigi, look at that. It's money, and a lot of it. Even with all the dangers here, I'm sure we can agree money is important. The ghost doesn't seem interested in grabbing it. What's it saying? You can't take it with you? Well, I'll definitely want to anyway. Keep your eyes peeled as much as you can. You know, while you're capturing ghosts and saving your friends, multitasking. Even though they're putting me up for ransom, they don't seem interested in the money that's flying around. Yeah, explain that, Nintendo. But anyways, okay. Oh yeah. Quick, 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 quick. All the... Someone has removed all the other elevator buttons. What's, what's going on here? <laughs> a mystery for later. I suppose go ahead and give, give that B1 button a push. Basement one. Now he's got a cutscene, so we can't really interact with him anymore. It didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on the second floor with me. You must have been taken to other one of the floors higher up in the hotel, which means, yeah, we're gonna need those elevator buttons. Wow! I don't think that'll ever get old. But <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so many things have happened so far, and it's <laughs> oh my god, stuff that I just have never seen happen before. Also, you got just totally gonna make fun of poor Luigi right now. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> right. Anyways, now it's the dark light device. You can get the amethyst. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there was anything in there necessarily, but let's just go in here. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks for nothing. We got our first boss fight, Steward. So I'll try throwing suitcases at you, you just gotta wait until it throws it and. Usually I'm able to get five, I just gotta work on the timing again, I guess, because it has been a little while since I played this game. And you can't shine your flashlight up or your strobe at him while he's carrying that, because he's blocking his eyes or something. I'm pretty sure uh, as long as their eyes, or you flash their eyes, they'll get affected by it. One more phase. She should pick up this one, I think. No, he's picking up a different one, huh? Where, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Took him a while to respawn. Not that hard of a boss fight, but something interesting or something cool. Pretty fun. Yeah, each each time you beat a boss ghost, they have like a neat little animation for getting sucked up into the poltergeist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, We've done it. Fifteen! Oh. Oh. Hmm. I'm just gonna get five. One and five. Fifteen is the last floor, I think. Ma, ma. 
Aha! Those are definitely the elevator buttons. I would have never guessed the ghost had taken them. Why? You... Okay. But there are only two. Perhaps the other... There are other ghosts with, out there with the rest of the buttons? No matter. Let's get to my car. I've got something very interesting I want to show you. It's a dead body. <laughs> Zombies versus ghosts. The ultimate paranormal war will begin. Fancy Koopa shell. Oh, this. <laughs> oh my god, just. Should you stay away or I'll bite you with my one two. <laughs> I really love how Egad was animated in this one. In fact, I love the way everyone was animated except Kinda King Boo because fr him frowning is still cursed. <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! <laughs> and this. And it just occurred to me, I was going to end off the episode with EGAD um, after I got the Dark Light device, but I kind of forgot, so yippee. But it's kind of good I did, because I don't think I would have done that funny elevator thing with him if I just stopped the episode there, so I'd say that this is a pretty good spot to end off. So next time on Luigi's Mansion 3, we'll follow EGAD into his lab and, yeah, see anything else we need. See, also, this is totally the pixelator camera from Dark Moon, and it kind of follows you. I'll follow him into his lab to see what he has to say. So I'll see you guys on the next one. And goodbye! Wow.